What is up, guys? It's Soash here, and we are playing a new game out by Lilith Games and Kick9 called Soul Hunters. And speaking of Kick9, they are also sponsoring this video, and it's their first here for the Soash Gaming channel. So, woo! All right, guys, we're going to get right into it. And of course, free chest to begin with already. Let's open this, see what we get. An iron chainmail, something we can equip later. And let's get right over here and go into the campaign and we are on chapter three already been playing this game quite a bit and we're going to go with this setup i'm running two tanks right here and two in the middle running some ranged dps and of course bringing in the last one with a healer and the ones that i am running is the dwarf at the very front that is torson the mighty dwarf warrior and we also have with us Drago, the Orcish Conqueror. And in the midfield, I am using Sumiko, the Half Snake Enchantress, Ariel, the Audacious Fairy, and bringing up the rear is Flora, my Natural Charmer, and also my Healer. And this is a very, very fun game, strategy based action role playing. And I've been playing this game a lot. I actually played it before I even spoke with the guys at Kick9 and I enjoyed it thoroughly. And not only because they're sponsoring this guys, but I mean, it is an awesome game. I love playing this. I've played one similar to it, but ditched it for the real deal. And I'm gonna use that special on my tank right there. Get a stun out and let's get some AOE damage from Sumiko and Ariel should help finish it off. And we get that charm off on the Elric there. That was the Elven Knight. And we finished them off with a three star. Pretty nice. Get some little bit of loot. And let's jump right into the next one. Now, I'm gonna try a different setup here. Instead of going with two tanks, I wanna load up on some DPS, see if it helps kill things a little bit faster. So we're gonna add Ember, the Fire Goddess, and Boomer, the Goblin Gunner, to the lineup. And let's see how this goes. Playing around with different setups, different ones call for different things. So, you know, try, di try different lineups and see what works out best for you. And uh, I like to mix and match depending on what I'm doing, you know, keep things a little spicy. And as you noticed, you have a bar at the bottom. You see that one glowing orange on Ariel there. Uh, what that is, is that lets you use your special move and you can level those moves up. I will show you and basically how that works is every time you do a melee attack on one of these guys, you get 50 of this energy. Okay, and if you get a kill shot on one, you get 300 energy, as you can see there. Now, when I go into the third stage, I like to try to load up on them. Where are all these shadow clones coming from? We're miles out at sea. They must have been stowed away in the cargo hold. It's a lot of guys to be stowed away in a cargo hold. Okay, we're gonna go Hulk mode with our dwarf here, and we're just gonna drop as much DPS, let it rain, throw some tornadoes out, stun them, and hit them with that. It's all over for them. And that was, I believe, the uh, Mystic Runner Gale. Yes, it was. Now, here's another scenario you might run into. All right, looking pretty good to begin with. I got a lot of my skills going off, but throw that heal out. Okay, we're looking good, we're looking good. Oh no, look, we're facing Samiko, the boss, and she just hit my whole group just like I did through there. And she is eating us alive one by one. We're going down quick. Hopefully if we can get this guy is immune to physical attack, we need some magic. And yes, there it is. Saved by Ariel. So I like those mid range and we got a party level up. Awesome. Let's me increase my max stamina by one. Every time you level up quick, get to the helm. They're headed right here. This is another example of what can go wrong. Oh, we're looking pretty good here to begin with. Got two of them, got my tank going up, and I've also got a heal ready to go, but oh, out of nowhere, we had Mortis drop that on both of my tanks and take them out, and poor little Flora back there, I don't think she's gonna be able to handle it. And guys, don't get down if you do lose. There's a way right here that you can level up, and it will tell you, you know, 
if you need to do some things it'll point it out to you you're missing some gear let's level this gear up help the characters out maybe we can defeat some of this stuff and what I'm doing here is we're gonna go through and I'm going to sweep some of these that I've already beaten before for some gear and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna craft some of this gear go back and I can equip it now if some of them are missing some of them may say crafting you can craft this stuff it shows you exactly where to get it you go to it points to it and you see the loot that may drop it doesn't drop every time as you can see but you still do get a little bonus as you can see right down there at the bottom the sweep bonus I will show you what you could do with those in just a little bit so we finally got that yes we did let's equip that and as you can see this is the character screen you also have abilities that you can level up um, I'm trying to keep them even across these I like this one right here the elven charm it actually charms the first target and turns them around and it makes them attack for you it's pretty nice all right guys this is one of my favorite parts of any type of game is PvP as you can see people have been attacking me frequently and we're gonna jump back in and attack one of them and this lineup now nah, let's scratch this let's build something completely new and PvP I want to run a little tank heavy so we're gonna take Torsen and Drago at the front and I want some heavy mid-range damage so I'm gonna go with Ariel and Samiko and we're gonna follow up with those heals from Flora and looks like they have some type of healer tank in the front I've not seen quite a bit of these characters on this guy's team and oh we haven't charmed oh my goodness oh he cast a physical immunity on his whole group now are they they're just wailing away at me and all right Ariel with the save with that attack right there and can we finish these guys off all right Hulk mode physical armor and attack is up and the last hit we have two more left to go stunned all right can we finish this one off that is alana no there goes the healer the healer is down and can we close she's immune last hit with drago taking elena out nice victory and guys that's some fun stuff you can do the arena every nine minutes you have a cooldown timer and it will let you know and hey we can get back into some other stuff while that is going on and jump here and look at here we have another free chest can get some soul stones possibly from it and right over there you do have a diamond chest that you get a free one once every 48 hours and maybe in the next video we might open 10 of them how about that now right here you can go into your bag this is your inventory Pretty much everything you pick up you can see and these this is what i was talking about those little things you got from doing the speed ups you can level your characters up outside of battle and this is really cool because i noticed i was getting a little behind i was starting to struggle a little bit to kind of kill some of this stuff so we're going to go through and level some of these characters up that i use quite frequently and let's see how high do we want to go Let's take Drago up. Mm, Torsen, you know what? Let's go ahead and push up to level 16. That way we're kind of comfortable. And I'm not too, too worried about losing anything. I want to keep as much stamina as I can, and I don't want to lose any. So get these leveled up here. And we will go back. And quest, guys. Check this tab quite often they reward you consistently for beating different parts of the game and if you are a try hard oh we almost missed some if you're a try hard you want to be the best you want to try the best well guess what guys they've got a normal mode okay one two three chapters but guess what we have heroics as well and what these are are they are beefed up mobs they have more attack and more hit points so i'm gonna go with one tank three mid-range dps that also do aoe damage and i'm gonna take that healer with me so we're gonna run some heroic instances and see how this goes 
faring well with Samiko giving out that attack boost on Torsen that's helping out on the front line and we're still getting that mid-range damage and oh we are coming up against Ember this is going to get interesting she has an AoE attack it's like a rain of fire that just comes down and I'm using mine and oh she hit hers at the same time we're dropping pretty quick and it's only her left can we finish her off we got her up and stunned physical attack back up let's get that defense up just in case we take a huge hit and we finished her off two more loots that's three total and a three star on ember and check that out guys we got a soul shard for ember uh, you can get these from the heroic maps they're pretty cool and possibly maybe further in on the normal maps we'll see once we get further into the game and the next stage see if we can rock us on out fairly clean sweep of the first section getting into part two we have two melees and two ranged in the back let's see if we can take these melees in the front out first got that charm off and he died instantly and you can see getting those last hits helps out with getting those special skills up and that helps out a lot when you get to map three on this well, stage three. I like dropping all those at one time. And let's see if we can't finish this one off. We have Boomer back there trying to blow us up. And he's doing a pretty good job on it on Torsen right there. But we got that buff going. And hopefully he can withstand all of that. He's going to dish out. And we can finish him off. Yes, we did. Sweet. Four loots from that one. Nice. And we got a three star. We didn't pick up any soul shards, but that's all right. We'll go right into the next one. And do we want to keep the same one? Sure. Let's run with it. See what we can do. Physical attack buff straight out the door. We got a charm off and he's dead instantly after the charm. I love that thing. And it seems like Ariel does the most damage and she gets her special ability up because she hits more opponents because she has that area of attack in that one right there. It hits everything in the lane. It's pretty nice. Now this is looking pretty good. We've got Torsen with his special ability up and Ariel with hers maxed out. And Ember's not far behind. And ooh, we have some special ones. They have mounts. Get that attack up defense all right ember got it let's make it rain finished her off just like that heroic modes they're pretty awesome and what do we get another helmet and some experience pretty nice now there are quite a few other things that are available in the game oh like i said check them quests guys but we will be covering that stuff in a later video and if you guys have enjoyed this video hey download this game it is absolutely free and an amazing game to play i have thoroughly enjoyed it gonna continue picking this stuff up party level up awesome and we still have more goodness they come from everywhere I love how they reward you for everything you do in this game. And speaking of rewards, guys, we're going to give away some special promo codes. Thanks to Kick9 for sponsoring this. And follow me on Twitter and on Facebook. And stay tuned for those promos. Uh, you can get this game for free. Download it on Google Play. And you can get it on the iTunes Store as well, guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash, you guys have a nice day.